everyone! Alright, so today we're going on with the trend of my boyfriend does my voiceover. So that's exactly what's about to happen. Prepare yourself. Prepare. He does love Pokemon, which is why I wore this shirt in my video. So, you're welcome, babe. I really hope that y'all like this and laugh, and if you want him to be incorporated into more videos, then please let me know. Take it away, babe. Show him how I did my makeup. Yeah. Hello, my name is Paul. No, you're me. Oh, I'm you. Come, come, come. And fabulous. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get the hair and the ponytail. That's step one. Step one is super important to do that. All right, here we go. We've got some glam glow in this green tube. And here we go with, what is this? It's like metal. Uh, don't get freaked out by this. Uh, it's fine to do these uh, metallurgic things. Uh, some people do it. All the celebrities are doing it. And anyway, you just want to get it all over the nose and part of the cheekbones because we're about to put some naked stuff on it. Oh, on the eyelashes, eyelids. And just a little dab will do ya. And don't worry about how weird it looks right now. We're gonna use the spongy squishy thing. This is my squishy. I shall call him squishy and he shall be my squishy. And just pat it around all your eyes, eyelids there, up into the eyebrow area. Uh, here we've got a little tiny brush. We'll call him Kevin. And we have the tart lit palette. And we're selecting this one over here because I am not black. And a little dab will do ya, of course. And just rub Kevin all over the eyelid there. We call him Kevin because, you know, he's got the short little hairs. And we know a guy named Kevin that has short little hairs. I don't know what's going on here. We're just going to keep doing the same thing, I guess. Anyway, bigger Kevin now. And he's got some... What are we doing? The one next to the one we just did. It's a little bronzier. Yes, this one. We get it. And just a little into... Oh, we're putting shadow into our eyelids there. Um, again, just kind of tracing the ball of our eye. And get it all the way down to the eyelash, I guess. Here we go. I guess we're still doing it. Yeah, we got to do both eyes. That's important. Um, symmetry is important. Um, if we don't have that symmetry, I mean, what are we even doing? And just just to see the reflection there of that metal stuff, um, be sure that you still have that. All right, we're going to go one caddy corner from the one we just did. I have no idea what that is. And just dainty, dainty dabs. Dainty, 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 all over. Um, just squish it in there. Again, with the other eye. Symmetry is super important, girls. And be sure you look and, and look up to check out what you're doing. And see how that metal is setting there? Yeah, that's going to be super important later on, I'm sure. All right, bottom left corner for a bigger brush. No, is that the same brush? Same brush. Anyway... Again, tracing over the ball of our eye, getting into the bottom corners, uh, and be sure you get all the crevices there. Again, do the same thing with the other eye, and here we got a smoky eye going on, because we are smoking hot. Uh, still smoking it up. Smoking, smoking. Oh, here we go. Carly B-Ball? B-Bill? Anyway... Do one of these smaller circles down here with the Carly Beeble. We'll do, yes, this one. It looks just like my skin tone, so we're going to do that. Pick the one that's your skin tone. Uh, we, no need for brushes here. This is high-quality stuff, so we're just going to put it on with our fingers. Again, just kind of blending in everything with, our, with the tip of our index finger. I would not recommend using the middle finger. That's just a little rude. Um, just the index finger gets you 
more dexterity. All right, back in with the brush, and now we're going to redo everything that we just did now with the brush, I guess. Uh, again, I want to point out that that metal stuff is really setting in now, and uh, we're, just, we're just casting our nose there. Um, I have no idea why. Uh, and we're still putting on different shades of colors. More shades. Shading is imperative, apparently really makes everything just pop and oh are we doing the middle nope we are sculpting what we just did bringing that up into what is that the cat eye that she always talks about i don't know just making those lines super sharp just bringing out that definition because guys like definition high definition is what we're oh we got the liquid eyeliner from nyc little dabble do you and just just a little tiny line very tiny you want to get as close to the eyelashes as possible that's super imperative because I mean if you're not on the eyelashes then what are you doing and just it's just like a color coloring book you just color right on the line though instead of in between the lines and of course we, we gotta do both eyes be sure that we make everything symmetrical. And here you can really see the definition of that metal stuff that we put on earlier. Uh, I'm going to guess that that just rips out everything in our pores and just makes us look completely flawless. Yes. Metal stuff. And, oh, we're going to peel it off. Peel it off with your fingernails. If you don't have fingernails, get a screwdriver because that's going to be super hard. And just peel off one side at a time. Here we go. This is going to make us utterly flawless. That <laughs> Just take the booger off. That's fine. Uh, be sure you blow your nose after this. And... Voila. We're done. Oh, just the... just Oh, put some aloe vera on. It just tightens up everything, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, we're just going to smooth out that area where the tinfoil was and just kind of brush it all out make it just blend it in with the rest of your skin make sure everything's the same skin tone i guess i have no idea what aloe does moisturizes master prime here we go and over the exact same area because you know we just need to work it just work it in there keep going keep going there you go and just scrape it across your face there just like that I need to get some of that because my skin right around my nose and right underneath my eyes is super dry. So maybe I should steal some of her stuff and put that on me. Anyway, back to the action. Uh, getting the nose now. Doing the whole face. Oh, don't forget the chin. Don't forget the chin. Uh, just the entire face. And here we have C. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that C stuff. Shake that sea stuff, mm-hmm, and still shaking. Uh, okay, here we go. Taking off the top. Oh, right, oh, pumping the top. Oh, it's like a little eyedropper thing. And one, one drop. One, two, three on the face. Uh, three on either side, so six in total. Um, we're just getting our war paint on right now. Just getting psyched up. There's seven, eight down, oh, the stripe down the nose. Do not forget, and your forehead. Uh, get the entire forehead. Might take three, might take two. I don't know. Oh, and here we got the big brush. We're going to blend everything in. Just make it all smooth. And we're just going to smooth out that war paint all over our face now. Just absolutely flawless. Very beautiful there. Just broad strokes. Check to make sure that everything is blended in. Uh, you will need a mirror for this, so be sure that you look at yourself while you do this. Uh, and down the neck, too. Mm-hmm. Spread it all in there and up into the hairline. Be sure that we get the hairline as well. It's important that we blend that in because guys do not like to see that separation there in the skin tone colors right near the hairline and right down the neck. So uh, I didn't catch that. This is super glue. And we are going to super glue our eyebrows down because we do not like unruly eyebrows. I don't know why we need to do this, but just need it's for aerodynamic purposes so that the wind 
we can just slice through the wind and yes we're going to push all of that in make sure that it's super flat against our face because we can't have one unruly eyebrow hair more naked stuff we're getting more naked now and we're just going to focus on the eye eyelids here where we put that tinfoil down uh, we're putting feathers down now this is so that we're angels so we can see that we're angels now yes more war paint and the four oh an x on the forehead this looks like some sort of witchy spell and back with a little squishy this is another little uh, tinier squishy and we're just gonna pat everything down this is gonna make all these areas pop that we just uh, put down focusing on the chin now more on the other side of the eye and just a lot of work here a lot of work to make us go from beautiful to absolutely phenomenally gorgeous drop dead here we go and oh yeah don't forget about the X because it would just look dumb to have an X on your face blending everything in blending everything in and here we have talcum powder or is that like something from the kitchen did you just get that from the kitchen it was a sea salt all right, salting our eyes now. This is so whenever somebody comes up, this is so people know that we are feeling salty today. Uh, we're just patting everything down. Get the sea salt right in there. People need to know how salty we are about things. And patting everything down. Make sure everything's blended in with all that goop that we just put on our face. Down by the chin. Oh, and not on the lips. Do not get it on your lips. If you get it on, it's fine to just brush it off because it's just sea salt. Or you could lick it off, I'm sure. Patting everything down. And here we got butter bronzer. Mm. Butter bronzer? It smells delicious. Delicious. And we're going to put all that deliciousness right on our cheeks. Not on the hair, just on the cheeks. And we're just going to gently blend in everything. Both sides. Super imperative to do both sides. Tucking everything in. Yes, gorgeous. Flawless. Be sure that you work that mirror. Know that you are beautiful. And up, oh, down by the cheek cheekbones. Very high structured cheekbones there. Or is that jaw jawline? Jawline, that was what it was. Be sure you get that hairline too. Make sure everything gets blended in flawlessly. And here we have the Jacqueline Hill. That's like her fave. And Becca Becca. Yes, Jaclyn Hill. It's my favorite. I love her. Oh my gosh. I accidentally messed it up, but we're okay, because we're going to use a different one today. And, oh, this is, what is this? We're just drawing on, on the cheekbone now. Drawing, yes. See that? Highlighting. Flawless. Nose and the other cheekbone. Uh, doing the exact same thing that we just did. And may, be sure you rock it side to side to make sure that everything, the light catches it in just so ways. And we're, this, this brush is just smoothing everything back down. Um, everything that we've done, Jesus, is a lot of work. What is that? It's a tiny, tiny fan brush, and we're going to go back to the Tartlet palette. I think we've used every single color by now and a little dab will do ya tap it down tap it down and here we go now we're doing the underside of our eyes we did the top earlier the underside now now there's less to go with the underside so all we're doing here is a line and we're playing peekaboo here just to be sure that we've got oh it's like the little uh what's different thing i think is what she was trying to do maybe i don't know anyway slightly patting down the other side of our eye here blink it in blink it in and here we have an upside down perversion that must be that very perverse here very perverse yes oh it is mascara flinging up the lashes be sure they're all flung up and curled so that they're out of the way of getting tangled with the bottom lashes i guess i don't know Oh, bottom lashes too. Fan everything out. 
fanning everything out. Every time that we blink, we want our boyfriend to feel the breeze. Both sides of the eyes, too, of course, we need for maximum uh, airflow. Both sides, both sides, we're curling everything up on the top lid, curling everything down on the bottom lid. Those are like two fans now. Whenever we blink, it's like those little... Oh, nope, oh, we're on the Morphe palette doing our sunken cheeks now. She apparently loves these nine shades of red. Big brush, bottom right. It looks like a pink rosy color. Tap it down, tap it down. And we are doing the majority of our cheek now. Majority of the cheek, just rubbing it all in, tapping it down, tapping it down, brush it out to the sides, right over that highlight we just did. Couldn't catch that, she kind of blew by that. And what does this do? Lips? Lips. Bottom area of the lips. Or all over the lips? All over the lips. This is so that your lips look like the same color as the rest of your skin, I guess? I don't know. Back to the squishy. And we're just going to smooch on that squishy. This is this is so we can practice kissing. This is how we get really good. Here we go. NYX lipstick. It looks like this against my skin. And high contrast there. Actually, not really high contrast, but we're going to put this on our lips anyway. Wide mouth like that Olivia girl from The Bachelor just... Open that mouth wide, pop it in, pop it in. Here we go. Top to top part now. Again, go to the Olivia stance and pop, pop, pop. Tap it down, tap it down, and work that mirror. Be sure. Oh, and we're gonna put rid, rid, and we're just gonna set this makeup all in. Be sure you you just feel. Oh, and fan it down, fan it down. Fan it down, and ta-da! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. My boyfriend does my voiceover. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and that if you did, then you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye! Anyway, okay, so... My wonderful boyfriend, wonderful. What was that? What was that supposed to mean? Wonderful. There's something in my nails. Now you got some lipstick on you.